la, la Biennale, eh, diciamo, il successo, credo, del, de, insomma, sono tutti molto contenti di quello che sta avvenendo, di questi incontri, eccetera. Anzitutto è uno esso stesso uno spazio pubblico, quindi è libero, gratuito, architetti, ingegneri, eccetera, di solito fanno grandi convegni, bisogna pagare una quota per essere ammessi, per entrare. Invece questo vuole essere uno spazio gratuito, libero, aperto a tutti, proprio per favorire questo intreccio di competenze tra cittadini, esperti, università, l'insieme dei soggetti che vivono e partecipano della città. My name is Elisa Maceratini. I am an architect and uh, urban planner. I work as international consultant in development, urban development, and uh, I founded Uh, with a team of architects seven years ago, uh, Interazione Urbane. That's, it's a non-profit organization based in Rome that works in the outskirts of our cities, try to uh, rehabilitate public space, degraded public space, with communities. So our mission is the public space, but at the same time is the tool to build engagement uh, and to support communities to reappropriate themselves of uh, the right of public space. Public space has many problems. One problem is that it's not recognized as a very important part of the city. From urban planners in the past, from politics, so it's not in enough the public space in our cities and when it's there is not uh, the subject of budgeting. So the maintenance of public space, that it's important part of the life of a public space, it's completely uh, skipped, completely out of order. What is in Rome is that people are trying to retake themselves with a bottom-up approach, public space. But the intervention in the really, really small local scale, it's very hard also because they need support and they need uh, money and they need also professionals that support to be uh, a good process. We need to tell about it because it's uh, always something that people think that it's, uh, it's there. So, but it's not there, we have to build it, we have to renovate it, we have to talk about it. So, and everywhere, not only for the south and Carney, but out on the northern country, we have to, mer to merge experiences and learning it from each other to discuss and to act on it. La Biennale rispecchia questo, questa questa diversità, questa, questa poliedricità di soggetti, insomma, no? E infatti anche i temi sono i più diversi e si riscontra che eh, c'è un passo avanti nella idea degli urbanisti che fa fatica a, ad affermarsi, ma si sta affermando, che nella rigenerazione urbana è, è più importante Prima del disegno, molto prima del disegno, c'è l'aspetto sociale, la conoscenza della realtà sociale di quel contesto. Sono un architetto e anche lavoro all'università come ricercatore e coordinatore per il Um, international project and workshops uh, in Tokyo and also um, have a, a design office and research of you know group in Mumbai in India that called Squareworks so uh, I'm kind of between shattering between Tokyo and Mumbai and uh, I'm specialized in housing project and also um, interested in the public space, but it's 
a not public space which is open space in the city, but it's more um, belongs to the public institution, such as library and museum, and sometimes uh, hospital. Those are the important public space that it's like a population or people use. If I limited this uh, talk within the interior of the building, the problem I think is the first of all design problem because the requirement on the uh, such public institution, library, museum become more specific. The, the why become more specific because it's the intensive knowledge accumulated in such building. The curator works, there's a curatorial in interest, there's a librarian which has their own interest to deliver the knowledge. The design of such the social institution dependent on the legacy of the old types of building and also um, we couldn't really uh, I think upgrade after the modernized you know modernism period. So what is very important is that it's like a yes architect work for the public good so we design the spaces outside of the building but at the same time we need to recover that it's the spaces within the public institution where that the public can come and then use. Librarian is very important and they take the kind of independent decision if someone address them to help and then seek some information. And I think this independent decision making is very important. And it's also become very apparent when become, um, the population become a victim of the disaster and then they lose the home and where they need to go is usually public institution because where that they can expect that there's some help from the government. Yesterday also I was a little bit of talking about privatization of the uh, public space because if the staff or librarian or any is not um, employed by the government, they don't take indi independent decision that it's okay. Now you are the victim of the disaster, so you, ca you can at least be here in a safe place. But it, it seems that it's private, the you know, employed people always need to seek that um, opinion from the corporation or more higher rank people, so they kind of not let even people be in that space. So there's a always uh, such independent decision make, making process is very uh, important to make city inclusive. Yes, I, I think public spaces are not the kind of entity on its own. It's always supported by many other social aspect and the economic aspect, but uh, from the architect's point of view, I think public space is also supported by the building around and the, those are not uh, isolated. The, what is happening in the building, what is happening outside, that is always correlated. So for me that it's like I think about the, the public space, open space in the city is to think about the interior space, adjacent interior space to the public space and from there we can probably change and then support the public space better. So my name is Elin Andersdotter Fab and I'm the project manager for sustainable cities at the Swedish independent uh, think tank Global Earth Morning, which means Global Challenge. We have launched since last year uh, an initiative, a global initiative called the Urban Girls Movement. We wanted to use the new urban agenda and particularly goal 11.7 on, on public space, the target, um, as, as tools. And what we found was missing in, in Sweden, for example, was really um, the knowledge about the urban form in public space and actually how to build public space that works for all. What we've been doing is that we've been um, 
mapping good practices all around the world, actually starting uh, in Kibera, in Nairobi, in Kenya, together with a small design nonprofit called Kukui Design Initiative. Good public space for girls is not necessarily a public space that's constructed only for girls, but it's a, a space that makes sure there is a mix uh, of people of all times of the day. My name is Victoria Walden. Uh, I work at White Architects, which is the largest architecture firm in Scandinavia. I am not an architect though, I'm a social anthropologist and I work with social infrastructure or soft infrastructure with people actually putting people in the center and there's a bunch of us doing that at White in different kinds of ways and of course public space and public buildings are really really important uh, for us and uh, we work a lot on the ground doing dialogues with people so if you want to have young women's perspective on something, we will go out and seek the young women. If you want to have children's perspective, we'll go out and seek their perspective. And the great thing with working at an, at an architectural firm is that it doesn't become a report. It actually becomes a drawing, a skiss, a building, you know, or a structural plan or a detailed plan. Sometimes even it go into a master plan. And the most important thing for us is to create inclusive, including cities, that doesn't exclude people, that doesn't say you're not welcome, but you're welcome because you have the money. And so we try to work with inclusiveness all the time. So what we do is we focus on giving voice to people that are not really heard, which is often children, young people, and specifically young girls. And when it comes to public activity space, we know that in Sweden, 80% 80% of active public space is being taken over by guys uh, and it's great that they take it that they're out but what about the girls so our question now is a lot what about the girls why, why how can we create how can we give them public spaces that they feel oh this is a place for me but also how can we understand what young girls want good public places fosters good people which is what we want my name is Angelica uh, Ackerman and I'm an architect and I work at White Architects uh, in Stockholm. For me to work as an architect when it becomes really interesting is when I can work with the social anthropologist because that then it really gives my work uh, depth. We have worked a lot with uh, the group of young girls because you can see in the statistic and uh, in a lot of our work that the young girls are not represented, which, which uh, have the result that they don't use the public spaces as much as boys. And that is a structural question in many ways, but if what we, what we think and what we believe is that if we make, uh, if we can design and use forms and, may, and ask the girls or the women what they, what they want, what they, what they need, then I think that they would be able to use the places and spaces and in much further frequency. And then I think that that in itself creates safety because if the representation uh, of the people that are using the places is broader, if, if one can feel that, well, this is, I mean, if you pass like a street and there's just like men looking at you and when you have to pass like a square all day, then you choose to take the other way because you because you feel like threatened by the representation is so uh, unequal. Gli spazi pubblici siano molto importanti, soprattutto in questa fase delle città eh, che eh, si stanno trasformando, si stanno rigenerando. Eh, Le città sono come un organismo vivente, con tante cellule, sistema nervoso, sistema cardiaco, sistema circolatorio, eccetera. My name is Puvendra Akia, I'm from the city of Durban, Itikwendi municipality. At this event I'm actually wearing quite a few hats. Uh, I represent the city 
as I said, from, from Durban. But also I represent an organization called the United Cities and Local Government, which basically is a mother body of local government and local government associations uh, globally. My responsibility uh, at the UCLG perspective is I'm the technical co-chair of the Urban Strategic Planning Committee, which has taken up the public space agenda for local governments. We at both the city and the UCLG saw the, the opportunity of the BNL being a completion of the circle in terms of public face policy. My function here today uh, over the next three days is to communicate the good work that we've done in partnership with our other cities, uh, member cities, um, in developing that public space, uh, space discussion. The, the reason why public spaces fail and, uh, and fail in cities is that uh, citizens uh, are not engaged at the beginning of the development and design of public spaces. So they do not feel part and parcel of the development of the space. So there is no connectedness to the space itself. I think to, to overcome that and some of the experiences that we've had globally, it's really about people taking ownership, but you can only take ownership if you're act actively involved in the development of that space. Public space is moving away from the traditional just public space open and, and, and so forth. If you want to be inclusive, you need to look at all uh, age groups uh, and all users, uh, including disability uh, users as well. Some of the good practices uh, we see coming through uh, are varied. If you look at Bogota in terms of the public transport and integrating that into the public uh, space system uh, and it's almost a continuum of the two, you know, one being public transport and the other being public space and the place where they meet is actually a junction uh, which is amazing. Uh, if you look at the public parks and the public libra uh, libraries in uh, Medellin uh, it's about bringing a divided community together, but also adding value in terms of arts, culture, heritage and, and moving forward. You know, from the Johannesburg examples, you've got the Corridors of Freedom, which is basically used as a structuring element uh, for the entire city. Um, the city of Durban, uh, one of the legacy projects that the 2010 World Cup left was a, a revamp and upgraded promenade, which is adding immense value from uh, health, well-being, but also uh, re-energizing the entire uh, waterfront and beachfront uh, for, 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 for Durban itself. There are so many uh, good practices. My name is Joanna Virva and I am a social anthropologist, activist and cultural animator. 
Since eight years, I'm leader of association Trampolina, working also as an expert in subject of public spaces. Experimenting with culture, art, urban life, collaboration between artists and the inhabitants are the steps we have set up to create more joyful, fun, labyrinth-like public spaces for living at Nad Odrze and Obin districts in Wrocław. The most important aim is for us to repair the relations between people, to not only change public spaces, but to make them tool for social relations and social inclusion. Through the implementation of our projects, we want to increase the importance of art realized in the public interest, the interest of various groups living in the city. We have also created intervention works to promote issues important to the daily lives of citizens of Wrocław, including all social groups, children, adults, seniors, socially excluded people and artists. We are using socially engaged art for changing public spaces. Our activities based on socially engaged art require time, patience and full commitment both by the artists and the participants. I am convinced that skillful artistic pursuits involving society are one but significant step in building community, rebuilding social relations and striving to improve the quality of our lives in public spaces. Lo spazio pubblico è qualcosa che accomuna, è il patto sociale tra i cittadini e quindi nella rigenerazione c'è l'opportunità di una riconquista democratica della città.